where's my colour drag tips, guys? Um, do you know how to save a little bit of money when you're using them? Especially when you're starting out plasma cutting. It's a bit of a bit of a minefield, really. Um, when I first started, I, I just sort of blew through them like there was no tomorrow. I thought, wow, this is going to cost me a fortune to keep running this machine. Anyway, guys, <coughs> I've learned a couple of things along, along the way. I'll show you. And um, remember, always subscribe. Drop me a like. Drop me a comment. Just come and say good day. Say good day, Pete. How are you going today? Anyway, guys, watch the video. So guys, I've realised a lot of people watching my videos are pretty new to plasma cutting and uh, this is what I did when I first got my plasma torch. I thought, oh yeah, I'm going to get into this and uh, we're going to go and cut some steel. And I managed to destroy my consumables within probably 30 seconds of the first try. Um, there's a couple of little knacks to this to keep your drag tips in, that, you know, in pretty good order so you can use them time after time rather than just destroying them every time you just go and try and do something. So just a couple of little tips and tricks, you probably double your life from your drag tip. So anyway, um, I'll show you. This is what I did when I first started, guys. So, wow, that's pretty cool. Cut a hole in there in no time whatsoever. This is a pretty cool tool. So I wonder how thick this thing will cut. So what I did was, went and got a lump of like half inch steel like this. I thought, wow, okay, I'll cut through that. Oh, shit, and burn my hand. And did all sorts of crazy stuff. What's going on here? It is actually cutting it, but it's, um, it's taking a while. So what's the problem with this? And then I looked at my torch. End of my torch. Can you see that, guys? End of the torch there. It's looking pretty sucky. Just destroyed that um, that tip. I thought, oh, wow, this is going to cost me a full. How the hell did that happen? Why did that go like that? See, it's even all bent out of shape. See that? Now, we'll take this off, and I'll show you what it did to the electrode. So I pulled the consumables out of the gun for the first time, and then I had a look at the cutting tip. Don't know if you can see that, guys. It's uh, totally destroyed. And uh, the electrode was not much better. So look at that. And the, wow. What the hell am I doing wrong here? And I'll tell you a simple thing what you're doing wrong. Three or four mil steel. You can blow a hole in it like this. Not a problem. Blowing a hole in it, it went straight through. That's no worries. Now, why can we blow a hole in this and not in this? For the simple reason that there is a little jet of plasma coming out of your torch. Really narrow, really sort of piercing sharp jet. And what it's trying to do is go through the steel so you can get the, the compressed air going through there, hitting the steel through the hole that you've made out the other side. As you can see, like when I, I'll cut this again and you watch, it'll be a couple of seconds and then you'll see it blow out the bottom once it goes through the, through the steel. See that? Out the bottom, there's a couple of seconds couple of second gap there which is once it goes through then you got your, your force going through all the time and then you're not getting the heat blowing straight back into your tip so if you have a look at this tip here I've cut that two or three times and I don't even see that or not guys but that tip is still perfectly fine because what's happening is the drag tip is allowing it to go blow the plasma through whatever you're cutting now the minute that you try and cut something like this like half inch steel or something and you try and blow through it, all you're doing is getting all that heat coming out of here, it's hitting the steel and it can't blow through it quick enough, so it's blowing straight back up into your, into your drag tip, and what it's doing is just burning your drag tip out and it's burning your electrodes out and it won't last 10 seconds. That's the mistake I made when I first started plasma cutting, it cost me a lot of money before I realised how to do it. Now what they say is if you're cutting like 10 millimeter stuff or something like that or half inch to drill a hole through it first and then go from the hole and then start cutting which is well, probably true but it's a pain in the ass who's going to do that so what I do is if I've got some old tips or something and I don't want to drill a hole in it which most people don't let's face it I put an old tip on first I blow a hole through it first and then I change the tip to a new one and then I start cutting that way you might get one or two holes blown with the old tip before you have to replace it but your cutting tip will last you three or four or five cuts if you understand that but another way to do it if you can possibly do it is don't start from the middle 
Here, I'll show you. So to try and save your wear and tear on your drag tips, so you can get double the life out of them, try and start from an edge. That way, if you're starting from an edge, then the plasma can go straight down instantly, and then it cuts like a pair of scissors, if you understand that. When you're cutting into something, you start from the edge, and then you cut in. You don't start with a pair of scissors from the middle of a piece of paper. You start from the edge. Try and do the same with your plasma cutter. See, I'll show you. See how easy that is? Because I'm, I'm starting from the edge. Now, the same applies when you're doing, like, big half-inch steel and that sort of stuff. If you can possibly get away with it, don't start from the middle of whatever you're cutting. Start from an edge, and it cuts a hell of a lot easier, and it doesn't bugger your consumables, because you haven't got the blowback all the time into your torch, and that'll kill your consumable, it'll, it'll kill your electrode, and it'll also kill your ceramic cap, because this gets that hot with all the heat coming back up into it, and it gets that brittle. Next time you put it down, it'll just crack. And then you're in the middle of a job, and then you're up the ship creek, aren't you? Because you can't finish your job. So it's just easy to try and do it from an edge. I'll show you on the bigger steel. So you want to cut this half inch mild steel bar, right? You want to cut it across there or whatever we want to do. Say, so, say, so Brown said we want to cut it across here, right? Or even if you wanted to, like, cut it, like, even if you wanted to cut it, say, for argument's sake, only halfway like that, right? you wanted to cut that piece out of it, say for example, like that, but you wanted to leave this piece here in, don't start your torch from here and go that way or that way. Start your torch for either from here and go into there and stop and then go from there down. Because if you try starting it in the middle there to try and get rid of that, that square, you'll burn your consumable out before you even get a chance. So anyway, I'll show you. See that guys? See that? I come down here, once I was in the cut and I had the flow going through my steel, then I went that way. I didn't have to come out and start again because I still had the cut going. I could just steer the cut to wherever direction I wanted it. And I've still got this piece here. But don't start if you can possibly help it in the middle of your steel, especially if it's really, really thick. Unless you drill a hole through it, but that sucks. I mean, who's going to do that? Oh, I'm not going to do that, am I? But I might be strange, I don't know, I'm a weird old fella, you know me. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's the tip for the day anyway, and then it'll get, uh, get you twice the life out of your drag tips. And there's also another hint there, if you're doing stuff like, get rid of that, oh shit, that's hot. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's move that out of the way over here, before I burn myself again. Even with a thin plate like that, I mean, I blew it straight through like so, right? Just do it like this, and it will save you consumables, and you don't have to drill a hole in the thin plate. Right, so for argument's sake, you want to draw a circle like round here, right? So you want to go like that. You see that little circle there? But you don't want to, you want to keep the edge here, right? So what you need to do is blow a hole in it to start, so you got your plasma going straight through, but you need to hold your torch on this angle here. For the simple reason that if you go directly down like that, you've got the force of the steel until you blow through it blowing up into your torch. But if you hold your torch, on an angle like that, and make sure you keep out of the way of the spark, so on an angle like that, like so, then what it happens is it'll still blow a hole through it, right? You're not damaging the one piece of metal that you want to keep, so you're blowing a hole into the, into the direction of the cut that you're cutting out, right? Assuming, of course, that you want a hole in this, in this outside piece, not that you want to keep the circle, otherwise you have to do it the other way around if you follow my logic. So you hold your torch on an angle like that, you push the trigger, you blow it in there, and then you cut your circle out. Look. See what I mean? I mean, that's about as round as I don't know what. Around is about as a not a round thing, but you, know, you get the point. 
Um, if you had a proper circle drawn on there, you could do it quite easily. But always, when you're starting the machine, even on the thinner stuff, even right up to four or five millimeters, because it's starting to get the blowback, push your torch on. Most people go like that, right? And you've half buggered your consumable. Just go like that and blow it through. See that? And see the way this has gone that direction? That little cut has gone has gone that direction, so cut into your cut all the time. So this is the piece you want to get rid of, so you go that direction. The minute you go down like that, it just puts too much strain on your consumable. You can go like that and then automatically go up, that's even better, and then you can cut straight. Then go up, and then cut. Like that. But never go directly down, because that will, uh, like I say, it starts to cost you money. And who wants to spend more money than you have to? I mean, my theory is you get as much as you can out of these consumables. They're not exactly expensive, but you know, you, you need to, uh, you know, you need to save money where you can. Well, I do anyway, because I'm cheap as, you know me, cheap as cheap, cheap as cheap as cheap, Pete. That's me. So, uh, anyway, guys, that's the little tip for the day. Hope you learned something. Hope it wasn't too boring once again for you. And also, this, that tip works on any sort of consumables, like it works on this consumables, or my, on your... 100 amp consumables, it's all the same because by the time you blow through whatever you're blowing through you've buggered the tip and you've half buggered the electrode. So anyway guys remember if you like my channel subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come in and say good day, and uh, we'll see you next time eh? Bye!